Ladies and gentlemen, the Tribal Chief is here. And we may have no other option but to acknowledge him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. Over 1,200 plus days as Universal Champion, the third longest reigning world champion in WWE history. Three plus years of dominance, dozens of successful title defenses. Yeah, it's gotta feel like pure intimidation when you are facing Roman Reigns. It may even feel like victory's virtually impossible. Reigns is firmly established as the head of the table and has no intention of being unseated. A record-breaking champion. An unbeatable competitor. And Roman looks more determined than ever. That's why every time Roman competes, it is a history-making moment. Here comes Sami Zayn. Underdog no more. He has reached main event status. And his opponent... Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. I sure hope he understands what he's getting into when he steps in the ring with Roman Reigns. Yeah, Reigns' inimitable power could represent the end game for this superstar. And Sami Zayn once again thinks he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the head of the table. The Sami Zayn, take down. The crazy clutch. He's got it locked in. He may not have it. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. He stopped to finish it off. Stomping. Ouch. What a shot. Oh, God. Right to the gut. Getting set up for something in the corner. He switches it back around. Just like that, Sammy gets stopped. Close line in the corner. Roman being the aggressor. Reigns barreling down on Zayn with every bit of his raw power and aggression. It doesn't take a genius to realize that if Sami Zayn wants to have any hope in defeating Roman Reigns, it's all going to come down to one thing. Heart. He might be able to out-wrestle Roman. From way up. Blast off. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. He eludes the contact. Snapmare. Uh-oh. Good defense. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Good a counter. Power slam. Stop after stop after stop. That was a showing of control and aggression. Oh! Suicide dive! Whatever it takes to win. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. And Reigns reverses. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is a guy about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Re-entering the ring now. Ooh, man. Stiff elbow will break that up. That unraveled on Zayn. He deflects it right back. Sami Zayn looking for it. Blue Thunder Bomb. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out, including us. Sammy making the climb. From the top. Elbow drop. This is it. Kicks out. He still has life. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Oh, man. That is what it takes to top a rage. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Ooh, devastating knee to the neck. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. Reigns is getting dismantled here. The sheer willpower of Sami Zayn overwhelming Roman Reigns right now. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Up high. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He's back into the ring. Roman Reigns so dominant. Oh, guillotine choke. Sami Zayn. Can Sami Zayn hang up? Got to find a way out of the guillotine. They're not going to last long. Why would a bridge it out? Incredible. Oh, costly error there. Ouch. Textbook jumping for the win. No, kick out at two. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Roman Reigns with a... Retaliated with a head turning clothesline. Clothesline in the corner. He went right into that turnbuckle. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Uh oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Trapped in the corner. Not stop close. Foot to the midsection. Oh, right to that gut. So ruthless. Momentum has pivoted towards Roman. Reigns is making an opportunity for himself. And sit. Incredible. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kicks out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Look at this. And the cover for the win. Breaks the count. He just won't give up. He gets out of the way. Looking wobbly in the... Oh, a Luma kick from Sami Zayn. Zayn has this wrapped up. Cover! Well, only two? 
The head of the table almost went to the back of the line on that one. Roman better get it together. And Zayn is losing his mind right now. Oh, this guy's going to pay for it. I think it is time to fly. Over the top rope and takes them out. All of the emotion, all of the tension. Sammy and Roman are just letting it all out right in front of us. Caught all that with his face, and now Sammy is bleeding good. Delivered into the barricade. Driven into the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. And he gets delivered back into the ring. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. All the way out. Suplex. Evading offense. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, God. Running knee. The tribal chief locked and loaded. After that, it's easy to see why Rain... Rain sizing up the target. Sammy recovers from that. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Able to interrupt the attack. Planted neck first. These superstars must be feeding off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Boom! Insane closing this out. And he's taking this to the outside now. Look at this. Oh, the backbreaker. Right to the spine. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Sammy took one of his very best shots, and Reigns could be in trouble. Getting back into the ring. And Sammy is all business now. Into the corner and a oh, kick by Zay. Can Reigns recover from that? Cover. He's still in this fight. The tribal chief digging down deep and fighting through it. You might not respect his methods, but you have to respect his determination. Look at the Sammy's eyes. Zayn absolutely thought that was going to do the trick. These superstars have pulled away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. wants to prolong this fight any further. Roman has been denied. This is not something we're used to seeing, and by the looks of things, neither is Reigns. This outside. This could be good. Sit straight to the barricade. Reigns able to sidestep. Oh, with authority. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. 
Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. And now gets tossed into the ring. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Oh, man. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. He gets back into the ring. Climbing the turnbuckle now. Sky high. Oh my God. A hellacious maneuver driving him through the table. This goes to show you the amount of animosity that has flooded this matchup. The ref caught the brunt of that. Get ready, Saxon. You might be the replacement. And just got caught with that DDT. Uh-oh. Elbow drop. Big counter from Reigns. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. And more attacks to his court could hinder his offense. Here we go. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. Superman punch. Good night. Here comes Reigns. No coming back from Reigns after that. He's stalking him, watching for an opening. Reigns hits it! Wow, Reigns nailed it! Cover! Two count! Oh, the champion! Oh, no! With the title! Right across the face! That was completely uncalled for. Or was it? Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. Already has an ego way beyond his years, and it's getting stronger by the day. It's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth?
You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Oh, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Ricochet! One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Oh, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Ooh. The springboard attack fails to land. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Powered them up. No, here come the punches. Fighting out of it. Uh. See the drop kick. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. on Ricochet. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. Oh, the pressure on the left knee. He's trying to fight it. He's trying to break out and does it. The common task against Ricochet is to ground him, but Corey, that's a difficult one when the man has athleticism like something out of a comic book. No doubt Ricochet can be a real-life superhero, but I don't care how many buildings you can leap over. If you're constantly being grounded, every attempt to leap is going to have an abrupt ending. So cover by the champ. And the champ only gets a count of one. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Ah, look at this. With the power of Ricochet. The pace is quick and thanks to Ricochet. Can Fury ride out this outpouring? What the leg? Oh, nothing fancy there. Just discarded the champ like a chump. And set right into the corner. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. That was disgusting impact. The challenger's rocked, and the champion should look to take advantage. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. And Theory able to adapt. Theory is firing up, no doubt about it. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Back suplex onto the barricade. Three. 
Here we go. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. Oh, he retaliates. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Slingshot cross body. What a move. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Check out the springboard. And misses on the springboard. Oh, kick connects. of assault from Ricochet. A warning and a challenge from Ricochet. Game and Gary! Wow! Check out the springboard. Fails to connect on the springboard. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Ridiculous standing shooting star. That kind of agility is what earned them the title. Ricochet now showing off some impressive power. Wow, what a Samoan driver. Play impossible. Shoulders down. He kicks out at two. What a match. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. from Ricochet. It's a fix head scissors. Oh, that'll do some serious damage. The challenger being outclassed here. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. in action. cemented his title reign with a gutsy performance. Becky Lynch never backs down from a fight and as a result has earned everyone's respect.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. The WWE Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch is ready for a fight and ready to put everyone on notice. It is amazing in such a short period of time, Becky Lynch has become one of the most popular superstars in WWE. The baddest woman on the planet is here. Ready to take more names and break more arms. And from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! Won the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble, has held the Raw and SmackDown Women's titles. Rousey is a force to be reckoned with. Listen to this place! They're going nuts! Ronda Rousey. Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, two top-tier competitors here in WWE who, whether they like it or not, continue to be linked in and out of the ring. No respect between these two. No common ground. I don't know. There's just a lot of mouth running on both ends. That's some common ground. Regardless, this won't be a friendly encounter. Both Lynch and Rousey want to prove that they are at the top of the mountain here in WWE, and neither woman will have any problem stepping on the other to prove their point. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Here's the elbow in the corner. The kick still going. Attempt here from Becky Lynch. And she kicks out. Maybe she knew that wasn't going to put her away, but it definitely kept her down for a beat. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Oh, quite an effective counter. Look at this, going counter for counter. Saw that one coming. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Effective arm drag. And now the gears are turning for Becky. The man has come around and she is refusing to give Rousey even an ounce of offense. That's got to hurt. Great strength being shown here. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Becky Lynch with a great shot. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. The baddest woman on the planet's in trouble. Seems like Rousey's been well scouted. What's something Becky needs to do here if she wants to be in control of this matchup? I think Becky needs to control the tempo to control the match. She favors a more deliberate pace where she can pick her spots carefully. If Lynch can get that going, this will turn into her kind of match. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Looks like Ronda's locked in on her opponent. Oh, Effective arm drag. Rousey reeling a little bit from the impact of that attack. That was a big time onslaught from Lynch. She's pushed into the corner. here from Rousey. Nurse in the eye. Man, what a close on. Ah, oh, single arm back body. 
drop. How's he going for it? Howdy Buster. Ronda. She could pair her opponent right here. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. of Rousey clearly through the roof. With the lariat. Kick to the gut. And she's able to fight Lynch off. Baddest woman on the planet is dominating Ronda Rousey. Take down Armbar. She's in a tremendous amount of pain. Is she going to tap out? Can she hold on? This is absolutely excruciating. It's hard to watch. She should tap. to somehow maneuver their body out of this submission. Dropping bombs, and they're free. Punch connects. Here we go. It's popping off. Ooh. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Toe-to-toe -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Ooh. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Oh. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Listen to this crowd driving these competitors to leave everything out in the ring. I thought they were going to keep that up all night. Oh, he takes her down. Armbar's in. And she gets to the ropes. That's why always knowing where you are inside the ring is so important. Playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. No time to waste being shocked. The baddest woman on the planet takes her down and out. Ronda Rousey, submission specialist, looking for... And that does it. Ronda Rousey! Here's the win. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! Ronda remained poised under pressure and waited to seize her opportunity. And when she did, there was no looking back. Well, besides the obvious disappointment and anguish, this is a huge setback for Becky Lynch. This night is all about Ronda Rousey. Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Hey, 
way they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Caden. Go, Caden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. Say hello to Mrs. Wrestling. And their opponents first from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae! One half of the WWE's resident power couple. I'm not in the ring, Saxton. I went here tonight, we'll reestablish LeRae. Well, oh, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. Here comes Indy Hartwell, one of the toughest underdogs in the women's division. held the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. Yeah, Indy's reached the main event level of NXT, and I believe she can do so elsewhere. Byron, she's in amazing shape. She has great in-ring IQ for her age. That's all true, Michael, but history has shown that Indy Hartwell has some bad taste when it comes to husbands. Go ahead, Byron, shoot your shot. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. There's a lot of heat between these teams. I expect some personal shots to be taken in this one. I think the personal shots began before the match even started. And now it's a matter of what team can keep a cooler head towards victory. Man. Neck breaker! So smooth. And Caden was scouted there. Hoisted all the way up. Oh, Blade Duster. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. Oh, oh, drop kick to the back. Double stop. Carter able to avoid impact. Tossed into the corner. LeRae shifts that to her favor. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Tag is good. Sent out to the center of the ring. Oh, double super kick. Candice didn't look too comfortable there. Tag is made, and here we go. Running Swanton, awesome. She adjusts it and reverses it. Oh, what a kick. Just a ruthless assault in the corner. Is this ever going to end? I hope not. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Splash. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. She sent flying into the corner, able to get the advantage here. Ah, Drop to base first. Oh, goodness! 
this. I wasn't expecting a kick to the face. Kick. Well placed kick. Running drop kick in the corner. Nowhere to go. She saw that one coming. Oh, reversal catches Hartwell. Nice counter from Chance. Oh, look at head scissor. DDT! Incredible. She's showing signs of slowing now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Oh, face oh. first. Cuffs. Oh, shit breaker. Placed into the corner. Going all out with every blow. Katana perched up top. If this lands, it's over. Multiple knee strikes. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. 360 double knee face breaker. Chance conceal it here. Two. Got a kick out. She's not done yet. Escaping that pin must have taken almost everything she's got. Well worth it. Look how frustrated her opponent is. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. Oh, man. Face buster. She's been dragged through the ringer tonight. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. She's got an answer for that. Bam! Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Our ringer, their opponent in a compromising position, but getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Candace is like a deer in the headlights here. Hartwell saves herself. <laughs> Messing up their opponent. Fireman's carry position. Sent down into a leg drop. Very unique. Can Candace come back from that? <sighs> Enable to counter. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Dropkick hits hard, lands harder. Connects on the kick. Candace gets that set right back to her. And a kick. We've seen these women throw just about everything at each other. And somehow, they keep fighting on. The sheer will to win is on full display. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, a drop kick to the spine. Looking bad for her here. Yeah, Candace with a very efficient form of offense. Swing neck breaker. Oh, well scouted by Carter. Oh, I'd love to see this. Into a hammer lock flatliner. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Incredible match. Grueling matchup. And what's going on here? And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility.
Chelsea Green is here. And uh, I think she wants to speak to the manager. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green! You know, I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager, but I have to admit, it has worked well for Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. Here comes Five Feet of Fury. And she's got backup. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa's back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. The always unpredictable Alexa Bliss stepping into the ring tonight, and she's really taken us on a journey the last few years, hasn't she? Now, I haven't been able to tell whether she's coming or going for a while now, but the one thing that's always remained consistent is her in-ring intelligence, and that mean streak she can activate in an instant. Now that she seems to have settled into a groove, I think that'll serve her well. I think you might be right, Corey. And then there's Chelsea Green, who is as crafty as she is constantly disgruntled. Oh, Byron, I know you and Cole love to call Chelsea nothing but a complainer, but really, look at her track record. The woman knows how to get results, both in and out of the ring. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Chelsea had that well scouted. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Man. Alexa Bliss has been unpredictable over the last few years, so how do you go about accounting for that? By all appearances, she settled down a bit, so the main thing here is to exploit whatever disadvantage presents itself against Bliss. Alexa's incredibly crafty, but she's almost always... She thinks she has it. And she's not done yet. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Counters right back on Chelsea. Trapping the arm. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Drop kick, beautiful. Sight set on the top rope. From the top rope, what? From ring post to ring side, risking it all paid off. What a counter by Chelsea. Each 
superstar trying to stay a step ahead. Into the barricade. Oh, right to the back. Sit straight to the barricade. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Uh oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Referee's counted at seven. They need to get back into the ring. It's hard to tell. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. She's starting to drag a little bit. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Alexa evades that one. Reversal on top of reversal. Locking up the arms from behind. There's the eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Bliss is absolutely laid out. Makes a cover. One, two, three, no, two count. Credit where credit is due. Bliss showing a lot of grit there. That is fire in your biggest but leaving your prey left standing. Locking up the arms from behind. There's the arm prettier by Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green got all of that. That's got to be it. Two. And Chelsea Green takes it. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. Alexa Bliss had planned for. No one expected this to be an easy match, but Alexa just couldn't get the edge. She was beat, plain and simple. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. And it is for the SmackDown Tag Team and the Raw Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of The most dominant club in the world. Marching towards the pinnacle of their collective careers. Scanning the scene in the ring tonight, and the OC is looking to start up a fight. There's no escape, and that's for sure. Always looking for war. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 439 pounds, they are the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day! A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous 
competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Tag Team Championships on the line. May the best team win. The OC out here ready to handle their business like they've always done. This could easily turn into a brawl just the way... Will this be enough? And he doesn't let the pin last long at all. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Ugh. Caught with a lariat. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Drop kick from behind. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. Balor with the kick, Balor on the move. Drop kick. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, Balor putting his big match expertise to work there, making it look just effortless. Good timing with that reversal. No. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. He moves just in time. Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. <laughs> he had it scouted. Extraordinary offense from Battle. Luke has to exhibit some resiliency now. A bad place to be for the challenger. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. He's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up.
Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stops. just trying to deal out as much damage as possible. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Oh, ouch. Oh, using the knee. Damian Priest has got him set up with a broken arrow. And he sends him into the corner. Headlock applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. And that prevents any offense from Carter. Here's the snapmare. Followed by a knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. <laughs> Atomic drop. Oof. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. This could be it. Cover. The champ kicks out with authority. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. One, two. Crossing the legs into a patella brainbuster. Able to sidestep it. And Priest is being controlled here. I can't dispute Anderson's strategy right now. Luke Gallows in with the tag. Boom! Face first. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. We're going to take a trip. Several head and choke slam. Looks like the champ is going to retain. The champion thought that was it. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship means. You can see the sweat trip out of the challengers every ball. Priest clearly thinking, what am I going to have to do to put this one away? Caught with a neck breaker. Gets the tag. Hooked up. And DDT. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Taking flight. Diving front drop kick. Where's Finn going now? He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. watch out. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Boom! Carl Anderson, fireman carry. Into the gun stun. The title might change hands. Save! Uh -huh. Still got more fight here. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Arm ringer. Bang! What a punch. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. What a forearm. And these guys are trying to prove they belong in the main event, that they are on top of the mountain here. Big time confidence leading. Eyes in the drop zone. Cooney Gloss. Another one bites the dust to the champ. This is where Finn turns at home. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. You gotta believe that some doubt is creeping into the champ's head. This just might be more than what the champ bargained for. What a match. Look out! Cross body to the floor. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Ouch. Caught in a bad position here. Put down face first. Oh, I can't. Right to the gut. Boom. Kick to the face for your troubles. Trying to put this thing away. Shoulders down. Roll up. And the 
champs stay the champs. What a title defense. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day! Darkness, evil, a quest for control like no other, The Judgment Day rules the night. Maybe this is just what the OC needed to light a fire, to really drive themselves moving forward. I don't think they're just going to take this loss in stride. Mellow is money. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from both in Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! This guy has future star written all over him. The winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Hayes is ready for action to begin. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Uso. His opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso! Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jay Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. James is intent on proving himself to those competitors in the entire WWE Universe. This superstar has a tall order in Carmelo Hayes tonight. Melo's proven to be a very adaptable opponent, so this guy needs to be on his toes. The brass competent Carmelo Hayes set for competition in this one. When it comes to his in-ring ability, Carmelo Hayes is second to none. High flying, high octane, the kind of superstar you cannot keep your eyes on. He just happens to have an abundance of confidence and personal faith over that fact. You're right, Byron. You truly cannot keep your eyes off Hayes when he gets going, and he very much knows that. But this is the man they call main event, Jay Uso, and for good reason. We're about to see Jay steal the show in a way only he can. Years of show stealing in the tag division cemented Jay's legacy. We've learned over time that Jay just might be even more dangerous all by himself. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Punch right to the face. 
And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes' caliber, you have to think you're at a huge physical disadvantage. No argument there. But athleticism doesn't equal knowledge. Hayes is still a... This could do it. Elevates his shoulder ahead of the count. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Missed timing with that springboard. Pulling him in for the backbreaker. Ouch. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. Oh, driving the elbow. Playing possum. Shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up after one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. And Carmelo gets stifled. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Vicious knee. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, man. That was nasty. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a wind up. Got him in his grasp. Oh, oh a Samoan drop. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. Spin kick to the midsection. He is just reeling from that offense. That's just the kind of thing main event Jey Uso does, gentlemen. And finds a counter. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Driven into the barricade. Oh, and he slammed his face right into the barricade. Kick an uppercut. That's right, put your ones up in the air for main event Jey Uso. And he tosses it back in now. Jey with an opening to go high. Top rope, Uso splashed by Jey. Carmelo with a cost for concern. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Don't do it! Oh, straight to the floor! Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Ooh. Look out! Oh. Oh. Like a heat-seeking missile, Ooh. hit the target right on the mark. Toss back into the ring. And Jey Uso looking for support from the crowd. Snap power slam. Boom. Carmelo dodges in time. Reciprocating the initial reversal. What a qualifying. Now's the time to find that second win. Find that. He can end it here. He's got him. And he fights it off. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Carmelo Hayes with a. Oh, my goodness. What a cutter. Can Hayes put things away here? It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. And he gets set back into the ring. Going up top. Uso. Uso splash. Will Jay take advantage? Looking for the victory. Two count. One win for Jay Uso.
so. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Carmelo Hayes was not expecting a loss tonight. This is a tough one for Melo. It's like missing the game-winning shot. You can't get the image of the scoreboard out of your head. The EST is here. This is going to be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Just signature exuberant energy. Now, Belair is always ready for her next big moment. And always highly motivated to be the best at everything she does. <laughs> the EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade! Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. Never been a competitor in the women's division like Bianca Belair. Yeah, yeah, think about this. How do you prepare for a next-level athlete like the EST? Jade has really made a point to say that she doesn't need any friends or allies as she carves her path in this business. Her so-called generation of Jade is a one-woman show, it seems. Cora Jade doesn't need or want anyone to get in the way of her professional goals. And you should be applauding the fact that a young superstar such as herself has such great focus, Cole. Well, we'll see if Cora's focus can translate into coming out on top in this match. And ready for her across the ring, the EST, Bianca Belair. The toughest, the fastest, the strongest, simply the best. It's hard for any opponent to eclipse the capabilities of Belair, and I would say it's ill-advised to even try. When you have, there's a cover. And there's the kick out. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Taking head over heels. Jade must be phased after this string of action. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. Corey, Corey Jade has impressed us all so much in such a short period of time. But what do you think she has to do here to really stand out tonight? Honestly, Cole, Cora Jade really needs to focus up and not let any minor setbacks derail her in this match. A focused Cora Jade can truly be a dangerous Cora Jade. Chicken wing into snake eyes. This is just establishing dominance, followed by the stomp. She avoids the attack completely. And Belair reverses it. Nice drop kick. Yeah. 
This one is headed outside, guys. Nice hip toss. Just got thrown around like a sack of the you know what. And a series of vicious stomps. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. Ooh, she responds with a. Bianca Belair, there's the power. A number of clotheslines from Bianca. Shoulder to the gut, and a little flare to the offense. And another. That'll stop you in your tracks. Oh, here's a reminder of the power of the EST. Oh, oh, oh. Some Hall of Fame vibes. Grand Slam. And Belair is me. Bianca Belair with the power. KOD. Belair might have this in the back. She gets the shoulder up. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for her. Bianca has rarely been in this position. Time to see if she can stay focused and continue the pressure. Kicking out in time. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. What a barrage of stops. Watch out. Oh, no! Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Launching. Oh, my. Apron Sentai. The close of this match is just ahead. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. No, no, no. Look out below. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? From the apron. You got to be kidding me. Just amazing athleticism being shown here. And now thrown back into the ring. Bel Air getting ready. We all know what she's looking to do next. Up high! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. And some effective offense with that one. Her sliced bread. And if Jade had a point to prove, she just might have done it there. Oh, Jade fell right into that one. Once again, the women's division is putting the whole industry on notice with a match like this. Look at the confidence from Jade. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. She set back in under the ropes. What impact! Forearm to the face. Oh, nothing fancy about that. With the counter, Belair able to adapt. Oh look! We're about to see it. Look with a glam slam. The Acapella. As the ref noticed, she was on the ropes. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Up high, cross body. I can hardly hear myself think. They're bringing the house down tonight. This is unbelievable. From the top. Elbow takes another trip to the skies and it pays off once again. 
Had him scouted and met with a back. Cora feeling a little jaded. Is that going to decide for Cora? Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. One more time. Uh oh. Surprise with that uppercut. Oh, oh, nothing fancy about that. Bianca Belair just goading her opponent. Across the top row. What a hot shot. Look at this. Slingshot cross body. That was ridiculous. Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. And a live crowd doesn't get any hotter than this. On the edge of their seats and then some. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. From the top, double axe handle connects. Big plans in mind for the EST. Take off. Oh, the weight crashing down. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Oh, just sick athleticism from the EST. Bianca Belair has her up. KOD amazingly executed once more. Shoulders down. And a victory. What a win she picks up here tonight. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. sensed after this loss here. It looks like the generation of Jade just had a setback. The animal has been unleashed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. A multiple time world heavyweight champion, a Royal Rumble winner, Batista has earned his spot atop WWE. A founding member of Evolution, but the animal himself has evolved to the top of the food chain in this industry. Six foot six, 295 pounds, all animal. We've seen that when the beast is unleashed, nobody can stop Batista. Championships, main events, Batista will take them by force. And gentlemen, tonight the animal is on the hunt for even more. The son of a dream, the American nightmare. Michael, a man who redefined himself away from WWE and is now 
a main event star. His opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else is a world champion. Hard times and perseverance, Cody Rhodes embodies them all. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. Here is the domineering Batista who has dismantled the competition in WWE. No one is safe when the animal is on the hunt. The entire locker room is on notice when Batista enters the arena. His biggest motivation is leaving a trail of annihilation behind him. And you know that Cody is more than ready for a fight. Approaching every match like he's got something to prove. As much to himself as he does to his peers. World traveled and world conquering. There is nothing that will cause Rhodes to back down. Cody Rhodes is extremely passionate, but that can be a hindrance in certain situations, right, Corey? Not passion so much as emotion. Cody's no hothead, but he can get lost in the moment, and that's when you have to strike. The moment will be fleeting, but it does happen from time to time. Oh, this is bad, guys. Batista is bleeding. Finds a counter for Rhodes. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. What a barrage of stops. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Just ruthless, prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. There he goes, right into the corner. Oof, back elbow puts a stop to things. Running knee! Oh, what a knee strike. Well executed hip toss. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. What's coming here? Submission move being applied. Oh my goodness, Cody's close to tapping out. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Bad predicament right here. Have you ever seen a He's got him down, is this it? Oh, he kicked out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. Batista bomb. Terrible position for Rhodes. And a kick out. No one saw that coming. The resilience on display from Cody Rhodes is a common occurrence. You doing here, Corey? The colossal clutch. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. Slipped right underneath. And just like that, he's out of the hold. Precise destruction from Cody right there. Uses the edge of the knee. Great wherewithal on the counter. 
Rhodes tied that one. Square impact across the shoulder. Dodges out of the way. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Oh, Cody Rhodes trying to hang in, but I think Cody may tap Byron. The agony, the pain. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Close fist connects. Back down the hatches. These two are loaded. And that was an effective attack, guys. Reversal from Batista. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Slugging away with everything they've got. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Oh. Quick jab by Cody. Oh, oh. No question about it. This has just been an absolute massacre. Batista needs to find the beast within him now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Uh-oh. Clearing the table. Yeah, you're going to take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. From the top rope. And Cody didn't see that coming. sit through that. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Shoulders down. No, he gets the shoulder up. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. In there. And Cody might need to find space to regroup. Well scattered reversal there. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Nice. Oh. Rose kick to the gut, drops down, going down low, shot to the throat. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oh, square shot, but the back elbows ends there. Stopped 
to the arm. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh! He steers clear of contact. He'll take things into the ring. Skull. Batista sidesteps it. Boom. Stalking a fallen superstar. Spear. Looking for the victory. There's two. Is it enough to put him away? No. Somehow kicked out. How in the world did he do that? the hammer right on the lower back. This has been a jaw-dropping contest of wills. These superstars just refusing to show weakness, refusing to give up any ground. Uh-oh, Batista setting him up. It could be time. Match-ending power. It's just pure instinct at this point. Ah, uh, Batista with the with the Batista bite. Give up now. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, the Batista. You cannot say they didn't give it their all and then some to achieve this victory. The animal went to work on his prey and did what he does best, ripping and tearing his way to the win.